In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed PDF files in your Excel sheet. I did this for a customer the other day, and he required to have, the, have PDF documents directly in his Excel sheet. So I wrote a little code. Now let me run it. I have the titles of um, some chapters of a VBA course that I have in one of my folders. And so I'm going to embed this in this document. So let me run the macro. And there you go. We have, there, these, are, these are embedded files. So if you wanted to look at them, for example, you could click on it and then extend it out so you could read what it was. So they're actually embedded as opposed to just copies of them. So let me show you the, the code. The first thing I'm going to show you is where my files are located. Now this is on my hard drive and I'm just going to show you a little trick just to copy the name without the extension. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the file then I'm going to click on the rename and then it highlights everything except for the extension. So you can copy this directly to the file that you're trying to kind of embed it in so it knows what it, what it's looking for. Let's go on to the code. So here's my code. Um, it's called PDF add file. Now we set the target. So uh, weeks target worksheet sheet one. This is where you're going to put this. And then we're determining the last row. And R equals two because I have headings. Now for R from R equals two to last row, A is the cells height divided by the cell's width. Now set target range equals we're going to put the range in the in the worksheet and we're going to put it in whatever the R is and we're going to put it in the first first column. So what we we've done here is we've determined where the, the files are located on your computer. So this is my um, hard drive that I have my courses in. Um, this is the file, what the file name is with the file name plus the PDF added on here. So to set the string file name, uh, if, they, if, if the string file name does not exist, then you're going to go to another, which is just going to the next one. So you can eliminate if the file doesn't exist. So um, what we're doing is we're adding an OLE object. And the file name is the string path, which we've determined up here, the string file name. And then we're not having a link to it. Um, and we're not displaying it as an icon. Now, this little piece here, um, this uh, makes sure that the file, the file fits in the, the cell that you have within, the, um, within your worksheet. Now, I have gone ahead of time and made my, my my rows quite large so that you can see something there on, on the thing. I um, got this little piece of code from one of the chat groups in Excel or VBA in Excel. And I struggled for quite a while to get it to work before I found this one. So it's quite handy little, little thing. It's determining um, if B, B equals the height divided by the width. And we determined before that A equals the height divided by the width. So, it's de if it's not bigger than that, if uh, B is, is greater than A, then it does this. And we're putting these to the top of the cell and to the left of the cell. And so that's how you put them in to make them fit. And then we're ending our width, and then we're going to the next row, and that is how it's done. I will, of course, include all this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.